Hey guys, Uncle Pickle Pokemon, welcome back. Today we're going to be opening some One Piece. I have 12 One Piece Awakening of the New Era blister packs here. And also one Romance Dawn that we will be opening in today's video. Collectively, this is worth right around $200 on the secondary market. Let's see if it's worth opening. Hopefully we can get some bangers. Now I got 12 blisters here. That is half of a booster box. And with a booster box, you generally get three hits. So if we can get at least two alternate arts from our 12 blisters, that's going to be a win, in my opinion. Or if we can get uh, some high end cards that's worth over $200, that's also going to be a win as well. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And without further ado, let's get right into today's opening. All right, let's go ahead and start with this one first. Right now, Awakening is going for right around, I believe, $15 per pack. Yeah, the blisters are. Um, if it's not a blister, I think they go right around $10-ish. All right. Let's see what we can pull. Come on, let's go. We got a Choppa. We got a Holly. Dragon Claw, Hell, Bellamy, okay, Hacha, El Thor, we have a VV, very nice, lovely, very healthy, and that is our rare for the uh, for the first pack here. It's crazy to think that uh, these are going for fifteen dollars because um, I think MSRP is around four fifty. And the, this set has only been out for a couple months, so it's crazy. Uh, as you guys all know, reprints are coming. It's about time we got some reprints for this. Um, again, uh, I had a video I released about a week ago, uh, kind of explaining the situation and uh, what I think uh, Bandai should do in regards to reprints. All right, we have a uh, law here, very nice. Our first super rare. One thing that I noticed about One Piece, the fan base, is uh, they're a lot more uh, gatekeeping ish as opposed to like Pokemon. Um, and I don't know, I think the fan base is just kind of jaded. Uh, that's just kind of my opinion. Uh, Pokemon tends to be more inviting, like, you know, it's poppy for everyone, everyone's cool with everyone, but I feel like One Piece. Everyone's just kind of, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's just the general vibe I get from uh, I don't know, reading comments and uh, Reddit posts and things of that sort. All right, we have a East show in the back. Let's pull one from the back here. Maybe we can uh, change our luck up a little bit here. Have you guys seen the recent I believe the bid is still going. It might have ended already, but uh, I forget who the seller was. But on eBay, there's a black label uh, manga Luffy uh, that was, it's uh, it's bidding or was bidding, depending on when I released this video. But uh, it was up to like 61 bids, and it was well over, I believe, 10 Gs with two days left to go. The last time I checked. It's insane. Uh, I definitely think the market is in a bubble for sure. We have a Uta, very nice. Or Ulti. Sorry, guys. We have an Ulti there in the back. Super rare. Very nice. Second super rare hit. All right, we got to step up our game here. We got to get uh, some alt arts here, at least. Otherwise, we're definitely not going to make our money back. Uh, yeah, this is uh, insane. Bandai needs to increase print runs. I'm on the side of them uh, increasing print runs. Um, obviously not to the extent that Pokemon does, even though they don't even have the capacity to do so. But um, yeah, we got a Luffy there. Very nice. Yeah, so that's kind of uh, my feelings on that. We have an X Drake in the back. These blifters. Two super rare hits so far. I think we're kind of underperforming right now in terms of 
in terms of comparing it to a booster box. All right. Come on. I, I, I don't know. I need to be better at the pull tabs here. Ooh. Ooh. I think we have a secret rare. Ooh. We have a secret rare. I think I saw a secret rare pop in the back there. So let's see what it is. Sarquiz. We have a Buffalo. Jinbei. Mr. One. Upper Yard. Uh, Uso Hachi. Very nice. We have a uh, when you're at sea, you fight against pirates. And for the secret rare. Oh, secret rare monkey D. Luffy. Very nice. We take those. There we go. We got uh, one good hit so far. Very nice. We take those. We are officially halfway through. Six more blisters to go. Come on. Oh, that was a good old tab there for once. All right. What do we have? Koto. Um, Mozambia. Hell. Yeah, my knife. Dragon Claw. Hack. Go Flamingo. Shura. And our rare, we have a, uh, we have a patchwork. I think recently Japan has released the uh, secret rares for OP07 as well. If you guys haven't seen uh, Wasi's video of that, go check it out. Uh, kind of reveals all of the the uh, alternate arts for that set. Nola, Dragon Claw, Hack, Pacha, Elthor, Enel, Bellabetti. And we have an x -trake. Oh boy, we are just burning money today. Come on. But I must risk it for the biscuit. All right. What do we have? Buffalo. Well, that's a really thick card. Extra thick. Yama, Mr. One. Come on, Amazon, Onami, Fire Fist, and for the hit, ooh, we have an alternate art, very nice, Koala, very nice, we take those, super rare alternate art, very nice, not pull this one yet, very, very lovely. The reason why I love One Piece cards so much is, guys, look at the texture on that. Holy moly. The uh, attention to detail. Uh, the art. Super sick. That is gorgeous. Very nice. We'll keep that there. All right, guys. We are down to the wire. We're doing pretty good, I think. Uh, full packs. We got two... We have an alternate art. We have a secret rare hit. Not too bad. What do we have? Buffalo. Stainless. Maynard. Bellamy. Spacey. Come on. And our rare Virgo. All right. Last two packs. Last two packs. Oh, and then we also have that Romance Dawn as well. Um, let's peek in here. I don't think we have a hit in this pack, but we'll see. No Law. X Barrels. Birdcage. Otori. Takazuki. Uh, we have a Luffy. When you're at sea, you fight against pirates. And Mongo Rare. Come to me. Come on, let's go. I'm okay with any manga rare. Come on. I actually recently pulled a manga rare from Kingdoms. Unfortunately, it was off camera. It's currently getting graded right now. Uh, the, uh, what was it? What was that card? Spacing. I'm, I'm spacing it right now. But you guys know who it is. But yeah, uh, I'm getting that card graded. And I'll probably do a, a reveal, uh, a grade reveal here very soon when it comes back. 
Edno, Virgo, and oh, we have an Alm in the back. All right, now for Romance Dawn, and they haven't officially announced which sets will be reprinted, but my gut feeling is they're gonna reprint all previous sets. Um, I mean, why wouldn't they? Uh, from a business perspective, I know Wasi has, you know, Wasi has talked about this. If you have a uh, very popular in-demand product in your business, why would you not make more? Um, the thing is, they need to, Vida needs to be able to balance, balance it and not go too crazy. Not go ham on overprinting. That's the trick to correctly maneuver. Um, the reprint is tricky. All right. We have a queen. Oh, and we have a super rare monkey D Luffy. Very nice. And these used to uh, come with Dons in the back. Very cool. Very nice. Monkey D Luffy. All right, you guys. These are the notable hits from today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, happy ripping, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.